Hi guys and welcome to Advanced Cell Biology. Today I briefly want to go through the biosynthesis of catecholamines. There are three important neurotransmitters which are collectively called catecholamines. The first one in the biosynthesis of catecholamines is dopamine. Dopamine is produced in two regions of the brain. It is produced in the substantia nigra, where it is transported to the striatum by the nigrostriatal pathway. And then it is also produced in the ventral tegmental area, where it is transported to the prefrontal cortex by the mesolimbocortical pathway. It plays a role in reward, motivation, pleasure, coordination and movement. When the dopamine level isn't regulated probably it can result in development of Parkinson's disease or schizophrenia. In Parkinson's disease the neurons that produce dopamine in the substantia nigra has been degraded so there is a deficiency in dopamine. Epinephrine and norepinephrine is produced both in the adrenal medulla and in the brain. In the brain, 90% is maintained as norepinephrine, which indicate the importance as a neurotransmitter. There's two subtypes of adrenergic receptors, which use epinephrine and norepinephrine as ligands. There is the alpha subtype and the beta subtype, which I will go into detail with in another video. The catecholamines derive from the amino acid tyrosine. Tyrosine is converted to dopa by the enzyme tyrosine hydroxylase, which add on a hydroxy group as indicated by the red box. Dopa is then converted into dopamine by the enzyme amino acid decarboxylase, which remove the carboxy group. Dopamine can then be converted into norepinephrine by the enzyme dopamine beta hydroxylase and that enzyme adds on a hydroxy group to the beta carbon. The final step is when norepinephrine is made into epinephrine by the addition of a methyl group by a methyl transferase. That was the biosynthesis of the important catecholamines. Thank you for watching.